One of the questions I get asked the most about World Financial Group, since I'm the, the author of the unauthorized the truth about World Financial Group, is their compensation structure. People sometimes in the insurance industry uh, say, well, why is their, their, their financial structure so low? I mean, here's basically the financial structure for World Financial Group, if you don't know. Okay, this is my, this is my uh, high-tech graphic, as you can see. I have it floating in. Watch how it floats in. <laughs> Okay, starts at 25% and it goes to 65%. And some people say, well, if you're a, if you're an individual producer, you can get 95%. You know, sometimes uh, sometimes even 98%. <clears throat> well, that may be true. You usually have to be full time in the business to do that. Most people in World Financial Group are part time. Uh, most companies won't let you be part time. Uh, so that's one thing to consider. But so why is it? Why does it cap at 65%? Here's why: the World Financial Compensation Structure Model. And, and by the way, my background, uh, besides besides writing this book and 11 other books, um, uh, you know, I've been a consultant for for major corporations for 25 years. And one of the things I've helped the sales teams do, the sales management teams, is structure or restructure their incentive compensation program because that determines the level of salesperson you build. The better the compensation structure, the more commission-based it is, the better salespeople you tend to get overall. So I've worked uh, with big companies like Johnson & Johnson and GlaxoSmithKline and Microsoft to help them, their sales teams, restructure incentive compensation. So I know a little bit about this topic because I've been doing it for a long time. The reason WFG caps at 65% is it's a model that's based on team building. So the reason they need the other 35% and they can't give you 95% is because they got to pay all these people on the team. Okay, so that's just the basic of it. I mean, I can go over the technicality, but it doesn't really matter. You just need to know when this objection comes up or maybe you're looking at the business and you have this objection. You say, well, people say, oh, it's too low. Well, there's a reason because it's a team building model. If you want to be an individual producer and sell insurance or sell securities, WFG is probably not the company for you. You can get a lot higher contract. Now you probably again have to do it full time, but you may be able to find a company that allows you to do it part time and get a way higher structure. The only problem is a higher, uh, you know, compensation uh, percentage. But the problem is, is that now you're doing everything on your own. Whereas if you build a team, okay, you get residuals. I haven't done anything with World Financial Group. I did a four-year experiment, as some of you know, with World Financial Group, and I made like four hundred thousand dollars over four years, and so a little less than that. Uh, but it wasn't, you know, so nothing spectacular. But it was still four hundred thousand dollars, and I did it kind of as an experiment to see if this if this all really worked, and what I wrote in the book really worked, and what everybody said, and it did. Of course, they were they were right on the money, as I expected. Uh, <clears throat> no pun intended. But I haven't done anything in that company. I've lifted a finger in, the, in that organization for two years and I still get paid every single month. Matter of fact, they still get paid every single month more than most people get paid in a job, which is crazy, right? But it's because there's still a small team in place that are producing. And uh, so, I mean, I think I, I think I made $19,000, $18,000 last month or something like that. That was one of my highest months but, but uh, with World Financial. But I didn't, haven't done anything for two years. So, and I have a very small team and never had a large team. So that's the advantage of residual with a team, residual income with a team. If you're on your own, you get paid on what you produce and that's it. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can make a lot of money doing that. Okay, it just depends what you want to do. But if you want to build a team, there's got to be money in the comp structure to pay the team. So the 65% all the way to 100% pays the team. And of course, the company makes a profit as well. But they're not gouging or anything like that. That's what like some people accuse the company. They're not gouging. They have to have money to pay the team. It's a team building model. That's why they call themselves team made millionaires. The ones that become millionaires, team, team made millionaires as opposed to self made millionaires because they did it with an entire team. So if you want to build a team and live off residuals, you know, potentially, then this is what you want to do. And if you just want to be an individual producer, go to another company and get a higher contract. It just depends on really what you want to do. Thanks for watching.